back for more let's just start up right now if anything there's gonna be like the last one we're gonna be doing uh or not doing this uh we're gonna be using the raven uniform before we switch off to a different one which probably would be the ARI medical uniform the uh ARI is not that bad but i think i feel like i don't have the color set for the legion either way i'm gonna see what i can do if not we're going to just wear the giraffe civvies for like three turns but let's just check on the case menus and just start from here. I am imagining this a lot and not getting as fast as I want. All right. But yeah, nothing else to do and all that. I'm. I just do know that we're almost done with round ones, and then we get to go to uh, round twos to uh, have fun with that. And, uh, what do you call it? I think that would be like, no, not a third. Mm. That would be like 20 something. But back in the subway we go. And then we're going to be fighting a bunch of the, uh, fire enemies, which is going to be a fun thing to do. That's good. Alright, I got both frogs down though. That's good. Both frogs down is great. And before this person get their shield up too, that's really good. Alright, alright. All right. If anything, while we're just doing the uh, whole of this, is that what I've been doing in the meanwhile. Just like screwing around, waiting for time to record and all that has been, uh, well, in the sense that I've just been having fun with other games and all that. And, uh, one of them I've been playing, not, well, technically recently, what I've been having a lot of fun with has been, uh, Lethal Company because that is just a, uh, funny, uh, funny game. The funniest game I've played in a while. But he, the funny thing is, I can't. I can only play it. I can't uh, like sit down and record one of the sessions we have done because yeah, I actually had done the test recording for Lethal Company, and uh, seven like yeah, I had like seventeen frames as one of the first like one of the times I had uh, those things like seventeen frames per second. So that shit was like gas, bro. Have a storm. All right, there we go. Man, yeah, no, like it's been having. Uh, wanted to play more Lethal Company and all that. And other than that, it was just uh, it's having the whole thing be fun and all that. But uh, not being able to record it. Just to, for you guys to see what we've been doing, uh, really sucks. But, eh. By the time I do want to record that, it's going to be, uh, not too late. Because of the hype of it, I don't think we'll die down. But more in the sense that, uh... We're gonna be like too decent at it, if anything. But hey, that's just me. Ooh, an arc. And we went for the ice frog. God damn it. This is gonna suck. And there's a shield there. But yeah. This is gonna be been fun to uh, play. Shield one. There you go. Taking another one down. There you go. Other than that, uh, since the. Uh, what was it? 
since like the whole Scarlet and Violet DLC has also come as uh, fully been uh, released, uh, I've been actually going to play Scarlet and Violet because I actually haven't played that uh, Pokemon yet, and I've been having a lot of fun with Scarlet and Violet. But I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Pokemon. Not like modern, but like in general, I'm not the biggest fan of Pokemon. Which kind of showed when I did uh, Coliseum, but I just have a lot of fun with Coliseum. But the only thing I've been told about the DLC from just passing by in communities is that uh, the uh, like how their the trainers have been set and how it's been designed in the Indigo disc has been um, fucking know has been um, pretty good in the sense of. Not geniusly designed, but more in the sense of like double battles, and each team has their own, uh, like set, which is kind of smart and kind of cool. Reminded me of like all about a uh, Colosseum and all that, which I do love. Colosseum is one of my favorite uh, series of Pokemon games, even though, as you guys saw, how terrible I was at Colosseum for the final boss. But yeah, that's how it was. But if anything, it's yeah, it just remind me a lot about like how Coliseum and XE Gala Darkness were. So I'm really happy for that. Sorry about that. I was just just checking one of my filters for my microphone. Oh yeah, it. I'm just trying to get not speed up the game. I'm still trying to play uh, Scarlet in the the, the style I like to play games, which is like explore everything. But uh, yeah, it uh, it kind of feels great. But there is still some stuff in Gen 9 that I don't like as much as I should. But nothing, nothing too major. Other than that, um, I've been starting to record also some like B-roll for when I inevitably, inevitably want to sit down and record the uh, like a bonus episode for RPG other than the one I made and if anything continue on Mario RPG and show each of the uh, Like added stuff that was added with uh, the remake that came out But that's just me I wouldn't mind doing it because I Do love uh, Mario RPG a lot and the remake Not ignited but the love for it again, but god I had so much fun with the remake which is kind of funny that it's like that. Really? There we go. One, two. I mean, if anything, it's just made uh, RPG fun, and uh, I just wish that it was just a harder mode for RPG and not like not. Well, yeah, like not the easier mode. The easier mode has been great to see, especially since uh, for anyone who hasn't played the game uh, and they want to get into RPG, it's it's a good thing to see. But the people who have actually played the game before, I wish they had like a harder mode. Though the uh, the post game content was actually pretty fun. Yeah, like this post game content was pretty fun, which. Maybe how like maybe strategy has been more, and I actually had to switch out my party members a lot more. Which switching out your party members as like a key feature in the game actually is a really good feature to have, especially since the completion requirement requires you to like do a cycle path for every enemy in the game, which is a thing. But it's not too bad. You can manage it on your first attempt. Alright. 
All right, all right. Other than that, nothing much. Nothing too major and all that. Gaming news in general, I want to get nothing too major has shown up to grab my attention. If, every, if anything, uh, the games I want to grab are in like next year's time. Yeah, like Martin Duck Kong's in that. Uh, when is it being recorded? Is it actually next month? No, I think that's in February. Mario and Donkey Kong is on February. Good old the new Peach game is on uh, March, and well, the Luigi Mansion Two uh, remake. I don't know when that's gonna be. Yeah, I don't know when that's gonna be released. It just says summer 2024. Like I'm guessing around like September. I would love to say October. I would love, well, not summer 2024, just 2024 in general. I would love to see the game released for like Halloween if it does fall on a Friday, or if anything, like the week before Halloween, because I think like uh, Luigi Mansion 3 got released around the Halloween weekend when it was announced. Also, I need to go back to playing. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 again. I actually did love that game. Alright, Asterius and Copernicus. That's gonna be a fun one to do. Just take one out and we'll be fine because if they fuse, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I'm okay. Other than that, um, nothing much has been going on. I just wish, uh, what was it? I just wish I can get like a bigger uh, return for not money per se, but I just want to get a better computer so I can record more stuff to do because if anything, uh, what was it? I only have like a couple games and if anything, I also want to play other games. Like I know like one series I really do want to try, but like my, uh, my incapableness of getting like a decent computer through pricing has always been like the Kingdom Hearts series because if anything, hearing my friends talk about Kingdom Hearts and play it and seeing a lot of other content creators I watch play Kingdom Hearts has been a, has always intrigued me to play it. And uh, if anything, I do have the uh, the clouds versions on Switch, but they're a cloud version. And unless you have a decent connection, um, I don't think they're that good on Switch. And I still don't understand why they did, uh, yeah, like why they did that for, uh, Switch. Like, if anything, because I, I always, me and my friends always bring it up in Discord calls about like how Kingdom Hearts is released and all that. Uh, that, I mean, Persona 3, or, yeah, P3P is a PSP game that was ported onto Switch. And I'm not saying these things are easy. Porting is pretty difficult. But you had a, P, a, P, a PSP game that was ported to Switch. You had Golden, exclusively a PS Vita game, ported to Switch. And after that, it's just more in the sense that, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Persona 5 Royal has been a game that was released on PS4 Pro. And that has been ported decently on Switch. And if anything, what was it? That has been ported decently well. Like, if anything, pre, uh, Persona 5 Royal looks really good on Switch for Switch standards. And Nier Automata, I know that's another game that uh, has pretty fun stuff, is that... What over here? It's that, uh, what do you call it? Um, that's also been ported decently on Switch as well. And I think that's one of the few other games that people bring up about, like, the PS, or the, uh, yeah. The Switch is a uh, cap not capability, but like how it works and all that. And of uh, anything, 
One other game that's been ported decently onto Switch that I remember is 13 Sentinel Aegis Rim. Aegis Rim. Fucking goddamn, I've been playing. I watched too much Persona. But 13 Sentinel also is a pretty good port of it to Switch. Because that was exclusively a PS4 game. Yeah, a PS4 game with PS4 Pro as well, I think. That has been ported decently well on Switch as well. Which always brings to the uh, profits of what the hell, uh, Atlas? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing to, uh, or not Atlas? Capcom, what are you doing? Because that is that is something I still don't understand to this day. Is their decision to make uh, like Kingdom Hearts in general? Uh, good old like cloud version if anything capcom has made a uh, resident evil work on switch though through play testing with me and my brother they're still not good they still chug at points like me and my brother went through the entirety of re5 and that was a a funny adventure especially sometimes where the game just chugs in some parts of chapters and all that and RE6 as well, but those are like Xbox 360 games, and though they do chug at certain points, there are some other points in the game where it actually works pretty decently. And, uh... I still don't understand why they made that. Like, I can understand RE7 and RE8, because what they were designed to do and what they look like is fair. But, uh... Come on. It, that makes no sense because what was it? We were like talking about how, um, how uh, like some of the games are just PS2 only. Like, like Kingdom Hearts One, Kingdom Hearts uh, Rechain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts Two, and uh. BBS who are not that strong to do because well P uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, Beach and Memories and Kingdom Hearts 2 are all like PS2 games in a way while Birth by Sleep is a uh, like a Vita PSP game and one other thing I saw was uh Uh, what do you call it? One other thing is that, uh, they also did, uh, Dream Drop Distance, which is a, I think, like, the PS port. Oh, God. The, uh, like, uh, Dream Drop Distance is like a good old, uh, ma remake of the, the 3DS game on PS4, which it's fair if you don't want to do that one. And it's like one of the only few you could do, especially with Kingdom Hearts 3, because that's also a cloud version as well. Like, if you don't want to make uh, 2.9 and, uh, or what was it, 2.8? Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and 3, a uh, full game to project, you can uh, make them cloud version and everyone will gripe about it. But, eh, I don't know. You're like going back and forth between the uh, games and there, like yeah, like the games and how they uh, like what consoles they were. But a, it's Capcom's decision and stupid ass. This stupid ass decision. But hey, what can we do about it? I just have to get either a decent computer. Or waste money on a console that I'm only going to use for like one set of games. Because there's any reason, other reason why I wouldn't want to buy a, uh, another console. Because if I'm only going to buy it for like one series of games, why bother? Not a second cost fallacy, but more in a sense that what else do I want to buy for that console that is not found in a Switch. 
I maybe that like that one asshole, but eh, I have a switch, and if it comes out to switch, I usually don't complain about it. If it chugs, it chugs, and I just deal with it. Anyway, we're done with uh, the entirety of what we can do. Now we can just go to the uh, ARI medical gear, and I can just. Uh... All right, I have to actually uh, get rid of my hat. I had to get rid of my uh, my equipment here to uh, get it, but can I actually change it? Let me see. Lappy, Marie, Pearson Raven. Nothing there. Let me just remove it. I'll probably keep a bandage. Yeah, I'll do that one. Hmm. I think that's enough. And then we could do this one. Just like keep the uh, eye patch on. It would be funny. Alright. And let's see if we can do the. Uh... Like, what color can we do? Because it is a light blue. Let's see here. Uh, there is a light blue we could use, which is this one. That's actually not that bad, considering with the uh, ARN uniform. Hmm. All right, I'll do that one then. Got us at five. So just one up. Got it. Not bad though. Uh, we're gonna be using the air, right, for like three episodes before we go back. I should probably also do some maintenance on them before I forget. But with that though, we have done like three uh, cases to do now. We have changed our uniform towards the air, right, and I'm happy expecting if um, if this thing does get monetized for this thing to not get monetized because of the uniform but what am i gonna do about it it's a costume in the game and i want to use it but if it goes down it goes down and we're gonna do it. but next time on astral chain we're gonna be going back and doing the rest we are almost done with uh round one we only got like two cases left where one of them in one of the missions we can do is a uh a boss and then after that we get to go back into doing well starting round twos but i feel like we're going to start doing round two astrals and then round two will technically start once we get to round two that would mark uh one part of the post game done and once we get into part three of it it's going to be a while for me technically to probably upload i know for sure that i'm gonna have to record each case into your own thing but i'll save it for next episode though thank you all for joining me today and uh hope you all have a wonderful day